Talking about global hashish kingpins, uh, Sphinx himself and his entourage arrives from Peshawar on a hashish pilgrimage, eager to score that legendary assassin from the Yarkon. So, uh, Sharif and Latif uh, break out the octopus royal hookah. They got eight slinky cards. To generously stone these uh, Californian hashish hunters uh, on Primo Assassin. Mm -hmm. Sphinx and the Brotherhood of Shamans from San Francisco. Uh, they've traveled from Peshawar up and over the Lavori Pass. And, uh, yeah, in three private jeeps. They want to score 40 kilograms for a mere sample because... They want to do a run 10 times bigger than that. They want 400 kilograms. We're talking 880 pounds, huh? Stack that up, up, up on the West Coast uh, uh, drug dealer's uh, backyard in Frisco. <laughs> They're going to make a fortune, huh? Yeah. Uh, well, the, the Sphinx expedition, it's a scouting run. Um, now, kind of a dummy run to arrange for the 400 kilogram purchase in a few months. Sphinx uh, plans to smuggle this uh, hashish on his private yacht, mm -hmm. anchored in Karachi Bay, going up through the Suez Canal to the Greek islands. Mm -hmm. King Sharif, personally, in the spirit of mountain hospitality, Malmestia, places with his own hands the 40 kilos at the feet of Sphinx. Well, the Californians pay off the Mastujis in weighed five kilogram bundles of Pakistani banknotes. They weigh it. Takes too long to count it. Any former drug dealer from San Francisco knows that. Weigh the cash. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a fun task. Can't say more. Um, yeah, it's in bundled in, uh, with hemp twine in burlap bags that they uh, hid under the floorboards of their three jibs. Oh, afterwards, everyone kind of floats out onto the royal balcony where King Sharif leads the welcoming ceremony. His villagers are dutifully gathered below and he addresses them uh, and his honored guests uh, from California. Um, Sphinx, thank you for traveling to our remote hamlet of Mastush. Uh, and to celebrate, Latif fires her Krupp cannon. Boom! Uh, which thunderous blast reverberates up the Yarkon Valley past Chapali Breek and Bong Lassie? This is the signal for the Hamleteers to the north to prepare for another ha assassin hashish scouting party with plentiful food and drink under their absolute protection of the flamboyant Sharif Latif uh, uh, lovebirds? Sound of the cannon blast from Astuja. Well, it only carries about 20 kilometers as far up as the Bong Lassie. And so from Bong Lassie, the headsman must send his most athletic teenage runner further north into the remote uh, upper Yarkon to spread the news. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that the tribe of California is inspecting their whole valley of marijuana. Yeah. Young mercurial Yarkuni runners uh, must sound the great news to the hamleteers of Maragam, Yogisht, Lasht, and beyond. Beyond? Yeah, to those uh, Neathandro Borgal yak herders who don't have a clue where they're descended from. And they're so stoned all the time, they don't give a damn. Uh, 
to the extreme far side of the Moraine Glacier beyond the Borrego Pass, um, to the wicky, wide, wacky weed tribe. Well, they specialize in 10 kilogram frozen blocks. I mean, they live on a glacier. For when regular stalks, you know, down south run dry and these wiki uh, tribe market their 10 kilogram frozen packs as uh, hash yak snack packs on the hoof from the roof of the Hindu Kush. There's a waiting list. Well, look, Sphinx is not uh, essentially a merchant. He's more a natural-born psychedelic showman. Yeah. He creates the extraordinary and the spectacular. Sphinx arrives at the Summer Palace. His three jeeps, I mean, they're, they're low on the axles. Why? They're weighted. They're heavy down because they're loaded with fireworks to celebrate the gay marriage between two brothers. I mean, they're out doing a Frisco crowd. Um, Sharif and Latif? Yeah. Lovers? Uh, tonight, Sphinx is the Grand Master for the first fireworks display in the history of Chitral. Yeah, and to summon his subjects for the royal nighttime spectacle, King Le Sarif lights the wick to one of those titanic, Teutonic field cannons. 